Welcome back to Nat 20 in this episode of Drunkards and Dragons, Eldritch Manor. Last time, our episode, our party did some <laughs> epic <laughs> sleuthing. Yeah. <laughs> That's my thing. <clears throat> and discovered, they, they managed to get Eliora down from her restraints, although she was still locked inside of the magical... Bubble. Bubble. <laughs> Thank Ooh, you. <laughs> the Michael. Michael. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and then they went and checked out the uh, the master bedroom and Eliora's bedroom, where they respectively found <laughs> Sylvester's notebook and a demonic summoning circle. They're just trying to figure out how to proceed from here. What do you guys want to do? Uh, I did say I jumped through the window, but... I thought you were just kidding. Uh, I wasn't, but I'm actually gonna, like, give up on that. <coughs> and I'm gonna, like, grab onto the wall before I can actually fall out, because I realize it's 20 feet. I'm not really willing to take that damage. Make a dexterity save. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> oh dear. I rolled a two. <laughs> Plus anything? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you, take, you take seven points of damage. <laughs> Thinking that some demon is attacking, as I'm running back towards the door, I hear this scream. I'll pull up Flame Tongue. Because it casts light so I can actually fucking see. <laughs> and I'll run back towards the screams. You ran away? I thought you were still just down there. No, I was running towards the door. <laughs> oh. Uh, I scramble up to my feet and try to repair my dignity, and I will begin making my way back to the front door. Okay. Can you re- really repair something that wasn't, wasn't there? What have you oh! done? What, what, have you, what have you done that's out there? Hmm? I've been investigated. <laughs> I, I make my way back <laughs> up to the room through the front door. I'm not going to yeah. try and climb those stairs. All right. In the meantime, the guys who are left in the room, which I think is just Rowan and the doctor. Yeah. Doctor what? Desiris. Desiris, Dr. yeah. Desiris. I keep thinking Dr. Dranzel. Y'all are so drunk. I, I keep on thinking Parasolus, <laughs> like... <laughs> what? I right. just going to call him Doctor. Yeah, but, that's all right. fine, too. Miss the Doctor. Yeah. Um, <laughs> doctor Who? What are you guys doing in the room right now? I, I'd just be investigating, like, the circle and everything else. Okay. Yeah, same here. Um, What's your alignment? Uh, chaotic good. Chaotic good. Mine's chaotic neutral. Okay. As you, you both approach the summoning circle in the center of the room, Dr. Deserus yeah. steps over and into the summoning circle. Well, I don't problem. know about that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you already saw uh, um, Luz run right through it without yeah. any ill effects. Yeah. But as you approach it, Rowan, you feel like you can't proceed any further. You're about to step on one of the runes, and you feel like if you stepped on it, and maybe wiped it away a little bit, or rather, if you tried to do it, you wouldn't be able to. I'm going to try it. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> make, make a will save, please. Will. What, what do you mean, will okay, save? Okay, make a... Sorry. This isn't that fun, but... Um, <laughs> um, can you j- just make a make a wisdom save? Uh, like wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Yeah. You love it. No. <laughs> As you're about to put your foot down on the room, <laughs> you die. <laughs> no, no. Power word kill. <laughs> you stop. I have more than a hundred hit points. And just put your foot back down where it was. You could not touch the room. Okay. Make an intelligence check. That's a dirty 20. Okay. You think this is a little weird because you watched multiple of your party members walk right through the circle with no problem, but you, for some reason, couldn't do it. So... You think maybe there's something different about you specifically that didn't allow you to pass through this room? He's a good person. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us are not. Uh, I'm trying to be good. 
I, 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 uh, uh, yeah. Can I make it to the roof? Now? Yeah. At this point, uh, are all three of you making your way back? Yeah. To the roof? Yeah. At some point, I also okay. went. Uh, at this point, all three of you have walked back into the house and up the balcony, up, up the stairs, and into the room. <clears throat> I've decided to abandon the search for the wolves as I realized we've killed them all. Uh, this is quite pointless. <laughs> uh, did you uh, did, did you mean anything whilst I was gone? I tried to walk into the circle with the ruins, but I wasn't able to actually move my foot in. For some reason. Mm. Seem to almost reject me somewhat. Oh, so you mean this circle? As I kind of like smear my foot on it? Yes, that circle. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I step inside the circle. Or try to. You can. I can. You excellent. can. Excellent, excellent. Uh, I sit down. Yeah, is he Rowan just kind of there? <laughs> Calm down, Rowan. It's clearly because uh, uh, this is an evil demon. Demon, which means uh, only a person of new. Uh, how do I say this one sounds suddenly weird? Uh, only good people could not step inside, which means you're a good person. Only bad Thank people you. can step inside? Oh, yes, that would have been that. Yeah, that would have been. I'm not a good person. <laughs> no, I'm not a good person either, as I'm sitting down in the circle. Uh, I, I, I start to think. Maybe well, there's something wrong with it. Okay. I think about like what incantations I could use. Yeah, everybody make an intelligence check. Fuck. Gonna flex that one. I got four. Nineteen. Uh, Twenty-four! Twenty-one. Yes! <laughs> I've beaten you! <laughs> <laughs> That's not the point! Fuck you! Why? I got eight. <laughs> I got four. <laughs> <laughs> good shit. You're still stuck on the fact that you're not a good person. Though. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of hurt by that. <laughs> Sorrow. Yeah, that's me. It's me, the Detective Supreme. <laughs> Looking at this summoning circle and gathering what, it, based off the information that um, Rowan has just told you, you gather that this circle is kind of the inverse of the magic circle that's holding Elior in place. Like, that's the opposite kind of magic to this kind of magic. So, if a neutral or evil person could pass through this, that means a, only a good person could pass through this sphere into the other earth. What didn't uh, our good friend? No. I tried, mag- tried magic. Interesting. Um, uh, uh, Rowan, my good sir, Rowan. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> follow me. I am acting right now. Follow me. I have a very important job for you, and I I walk around towards the ballroom. What are your thoughts? Uh I'm going to push you through that sphere. I could not enter before. Why should I now? You never actually tried to enter the sphere. I used I mentioned door. I could not enter. Uh, my good man, you. I mean, you never tried to enter it. Uh, I used I mentioned door. I could not enter. Rowan, well, allow me to explain. Um, you see how you couldn't step through this, the circle. I tried I mentioned door. I could not enter. Rowan, well, uh, you understand that uh, you could not step through the runes in the Elior's bedroom. I used I mentioned <laughs> which were evil runes. Uh, which. It's only evil uh, evil people could step through. Uh, the, the exactly, sphere, I tried to amend the door, but I get not entered. The sphere that surrounds Eliora is made of good which means only a good person can step through, which means you, my man, can simply walk straight through. I, I tried casting spell to get there, but You I don't couldn't. need a spell is what I'm saying. You can <laughs> quite literally just walk straight through it. At okay. this point, you guys have reached the ballroom. I shove him through the sphere. Okay. You make an intelligence check. I'm walking on my own accord. Uh, <laughs> Seventeen. Uh, upon seeing the the, the magical sphere, the, the the circle of runes in the shape of the laurel, you absolutely recognize this as, as what is probably Sylvester's work based on his notes in his journal. Okay. 
I am walking <laughs> through here not because you told me to, but of my own accord. That's fine, sir. Please just walk through. I will, because I want to. Because <laughs> you're an adventuring <laughs> Exactly. Hero. That's exactly. why I am entering here. <laughs> I am so proud of you. Thank you. So you step into the mansion. Yes. <laughs> you pass through no problem. Okay. As you step onto the rooms, which, upon further inspection, were literally just like chalk on the floor. <laughs> Your foot smudges it a little bit, and the entire natural sphere blinks out of existence. Ooh, that's a bingo! <laughs> uh, and I, I rush forwards, and I, I clap uh, you on the shoulder, uh, and I say, good work, my man, and I help Eleora up to her feet. She is very weak. Yeah. You know, this is a lot like a play. <laughs> I was later fired. round, later. <laughs> we'll discuss over many places. Don't worry. Later. Eliora. I'm going to help Sora with uh, the girl as well. Yeah, I, I help her up. She's still screaming and distraught and everything? She's not screaming. Distraught though? She's... Just a little yeah, she's she's really <laughs> 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 I fall in and can't get up. Call life alert. Yeah, I need that. <laughs> totally off. Drunkards and Dragons, they said. Good idea, they said. <laughs> Let's get drunk, Gage said. It'll be fun, Gage said. <laughs> Wait. <clears throat> so, when I initially ran into the force field, if my alignment was good... You would have just won right through it. <laughs> but because you didn't, we all assumed that none of us could do it. So and this so is your the next fault. two hours? <laughs> <laughs> yep. This is your fault, man. You guys... Luce had to I do just, a whole bunch of drugs. <laughs> you guys just got in the fucking bedrooms first. You would have figured this whole shit out. It would have been fine. You shouldn't have introduced us to the cellar and the study and the ballroom and all this <laughs> the bullshit. Cellar the cellar was The ballroom was necessary. The ballroom was necessary. I just kind of expected you not to anyway. Anyway, I don't know. So, uh, yes. I so we should have went to Eleanor's room first. So the that circle. But how is Eleanor yes. doing? She is... <laughs> She's incredibly weak. As you help her to a you basically have to pick her up. I'm going to give her some drugs. Oh, uh, I don't <laughs> let him do that. Uh, no, uh, let's save the drugs for another time, perhaps. That's not very good She's idea. too weak to consume hallucinogens. What kind of form they, are these drugs? I'll cast cure it's wounds just like mounds of powder. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that were in like, little bags. Maybe, yep. maybe so, she has the plague. <laughs> I so I'm going to take one of these bags. Tony, yeah, we contributed for like two hours. <laughs> kind of like grab it. You're still here. Grab a little handful. I'm watching it silently. Oh. <laughs> and then slam <laughs> my hand in her face. I, can I attempt to stop this? <sighs> I cheer him on. Make contesting dexterity checks. I'll like say some, sometimes you just need something to help you. Uh, function. 15, straight 15. What the fuck are my rolls? I got a four. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Can, can I roll to slap his hand away, allowing him to watch the <laughs> <laughs> You're not <laughs> drugging Eliora! <laughs> She's a good person! What the fuck is wrong with you guys? Can Try I to help her. Can I roll sleight of hand? Yes. <laughs> That'll be 25. <laughs> Okay. Charlotte <laughs> smacks Soros. Soros hand away. I'm changing my alignment to <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't deal with these guys. As man. Soro is about to smash Eleanor's <laughs> face with a bunch of drugs. Luth is successful in doing so. Congrats, you've just put Eleanor <laughs> to <the> cardiac arrest. <clears throat> Make a perception check, please. Nine. All right, you don't notice anything. Cool. Um, <laughs> seeing as you're in contact with her, eight. <laughs> eight. <laughs> <clears throat> What's your auto class? Fifteen. Little sorry, dies. Fuck. Make a strength check. <laughs> Saving throw or check? Check. 
You do get advantage. Fifteen. Not I though. <gasps> Elior grapples you. <laughs> <laughs> With sudden superhuman speed and strength. You notice she didn't inhale any of the powder. <laughs> Darn. Because she wasn't breathing. Oh. You fucking <laughs> idiots. <laughs> <clears throat> Just hold on for a second here, folks. That's all, folks. <laughs> she sinks her teeth into your neck. One, two, one, two. And you notice some, some part of you is being ripped away. Your con score goes down by four. Did that affect my health as well? No. But that puts you at what? Ten gone. Ooh, sucks for con throws. Especially since we're you know we're fighting demons, you know, little magic, you know, the con labor. It, it only gave me a plus two, and now it's just a plus zero. Oh, okay, never mind. Out of all the things you could have taken, it's probably the best for you. <laughs> <laughs> so since she's on top of me and she's not that good. Okay. She's not done yet. <laughs> she pulls out the sex swing. <laughs> sex swing's canon. Chocolate is it? <laughs> I guess Charlie and the Chocolate Factory isn't a real thing. Charlie and the Sex Swing. <laughs> <laughs> you take nine piercing damage plus twenty necrotic damage. Jesus. Oh that's my slow. god. That's nothing. <clears throat> you can't regain 20 hit points now. Depends on, like, what it is. It, it's really just 20 necrotic. Yeah. Oh. Like, there are some, like, enemies that deal 20 necrotic damage that he can't regain. <sighs> but there are some that are just bro. necrotic oh. that he can regain. Okay. Actually, this dice has been failing me. So, would that reduce con affect my saving throw? Yeah? Okay. By minus 4. I got a 14. Our first death. <laughs> Wonderful. You're now cursed with something that you don't know what it is yet. Okay. <clears throat> he's got heart murmurs from the doctor. <laughs> he's, been, he's high on drugs <laughs> and he's cursed. He's got death on him though, so that's why. And your grapple, yeah. she's also going to make two claw attacks. Or Can I make any reaction? Three claw attacks, not yet, because... <laughs> Yo! <laughs> <laughs> she got a surprise round. You're just kidding. <laughs> well, if it's a surprise round, we have to roll initiative after surprise round. Yeah. So. After the surprise round, it's not over. Her surprise round is like six attacks! So, I'm going to enter a rage to not be surprised. <laughs> can you do Too that? Too late now. As a barbarian, I can enter a rage to not already be surprised. Been surprised. I think you have to be in rage already. No, if I'm surprised, mm-hmm. the first round of combat, I'm not surprised if I enter rage and I can act normally. Okay. Would this have been avoided if I let him smack away the drugs? No, they would have just been <laughs> him and said, Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> uh, okay. Woo! Love when things go well. Flexing that 15 slider hand. <laughs> You saved my life. <laughs> I would have died. <laughs> so effectively, that just negates your surprise round, right? Yeah. So you're in a rage. All right. Everyone roll initiative. 15. 13. 5. <laughs> 13. 19. Oregano! <laughs> Please fight for us! <laughs> So, fucked. normally I wouldn't go into a rage, but seeing how I am, I am, my uh, senses are not what they should be. And after being bitten on the neck, I'm pretty pissed. Mm-hmm. And so I've lost control. <laughs> how can we all? Also. Okay, you're good. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Justin, what'd you get? 13. Gage? 15. Zach. 19. Clayton. Four, uh, 13, sorry. Five. 
I like how he started with our character names and then went to our actual names. I'm sorry. I know. Wait, Tony, how do you have plus five? <clears throat> huh? Don't you have plus five to initiate? I have plus two. <laughs> Not everyone has 20 dex. <laughs> oh, dexterity affects that? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. What did you roll? I rolled an eight. So I got plus five. It's not 15. Oh, okay. It smells like Tony farts. <laughs> I love with that. <laughs> I lived with that for two years. That fucker buys Macintosh. <laughs> Only Apple in our house is gonna be Bud Light. <laughs> <laughs> no. Anyone have uh, Xanathar's down here? I do. No. I need some stuff in Stormhound. So I can't use any of my fun, like, assassinate and stuff, because we're already in combat, right? Uh, I think you can still use, like, sneak attack if you have yeah. advantage. As long as the uh, the person you're targeting is within five feet of one of your allies. Yeah. yeah. Or lock in combat with someone else. Or if you're hidden. Or if you're yeah, you taking a hide. hidden action beforehand. Yeah. yeah, sneak attack's broke, and they really need to nerf that. I know. It's I mean, there should be more limitations like, instead of within five feet of an enemy. Do you know how, how few th- extra things you can do as a rogue? I think it's fair. So... When I enter a rage, my storm aura activates. Okay. So, I have the C effect activated, and she'll have to make a dex saving throw or take lightning damage. What's the DC? 15. She got a 19. Okay. (laughs) Well, she still takes half. Okay. She'll take three. Three damage? Yeah. And do you have any, like, raids? Raids? I don't think in like, like raid bosses, like big, like huge drawn out combat sequences. They're kind of good, but yeah. yeah. That's kind of a whole new thing. Yeah. I think Giant Buck with that. Yeah. It's kind of what it is. Yeah, yeah. like kind of like Sebastian's from after we played was like pretty much at the last episode, it's kind of a war between two sides. Was that the Tyranny and the Horizon? Yeah. Yeah, we, we actually had one role initiative, that whole thing. Yeah. When they rolled the ship once. That was a shift. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Uh, we fucked the bone claw right up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Did not stand the chance. Okay. Unfortunately for you guys, Eliora rolled highest, so she's up first. She still has you grappled. <laughs> so she's gonna fight you again. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> pumped full of drugs. <laughs> yeah. and have a heart murmur. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, if she bites his neck, does she consume some of the drugs? <laughs> his blood is pretty much all drugs. Yeah, yeah there you actually, go. <laughs> she. I mean, Science. you guys don't know. You guys don't know if she would have. I mean, if it would have an effect on her or not. She's cool. being possessed by a demon. I highly doubt she's been affected by the fucking tar that Tony injected her. I'm more, I'm more worried about the psychedelics that he I helped him. He's no longer got the plague, so... <laughs> right. I think you had it to begin with, but... There's something worse. <laughs> Addiction. Affects us all. Good caffeine. <clears throat> A-plus maneuver. <laughs> <laughs> We're a bunch of fun. Oh my god. This is great. How about okay. fun? So she's gonna attack you again because she has you grappled. Okay. So she's gonna bite you and then claw you three times. <coughs> three times? What? Multi attacks a bitch, man. And drink your blood. <laughs> so from the bite, you take uh, let's see here. 11 damage. How are you looking? Perfect. Plus 20 necrotic damage. Okay. <clears throat> from the claws, you take uh, 29 damage. Plus 30,000 damage. <laughs> Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? So what if I take a reaction on the initial bite? Yes. Okay. So on that initial bite, I'm going to cast Hellish Rebuke. Okay. Oh, and my... That's uh, a third level spell. So I think it's like, all my cool shit's gonna take it. <laughs> 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 yeah, now we're just a normal initiative, so bonus actions and, uh, and actions and reactions and actions only. Let's see. Are there any forms of cover? There's a few pillars in the room. You can use? They Would are... Would be full cover or just half cover? It'd be half cover. Okay. They're about four feet in that way. Okay. Dex save and throw. Dex save. 
Are the chains still there? Chains are still there. Is she still attached to she... Around her? 15. DC 15? Yeah. She got a 27. 14 fire damage? Um. Okay, I forgot about this. That was 11 physical, right? Mm-hmm. At the start? Mm-hmm. So I take. I have resistance to physical, so I'd be. So round five? Down, yeah. Five. yeah. Okay, so I'd have. And then 29 physical and 30 poison. Mm-hmm. So 15. Mm-hmm. Or 40. Mm-hmm. So 44. What's your max HP, by the way? 118. Wait, who had the lowest? Me. <laughs> That could have been really bad. I have 59 right now. Because <laughs> I jumped out of the fucking way. <laughs> Very unfortunate for Zach that she attacked him twice in a row. Very fortunate for Zach that he had rage and managed to get out of a surprise round, otherwise he'd probably be dead. <laughs> yeah, I would be dead without rage. Right <laughs> Tony, like, are you going to be conscious? Boy. <laughs> so, who, who's next? Zach is up next. Okay. So, how do I escape a grapple? That's uh, it's a strength contest, I think. Or uh, can we slide a pen? No, it has to be strength. I th- I think strength it's strength. to escape a grapple with a strength roll. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I'm gonna try and push her off of me. Yeah. And if I succeed. At the same time she's coming off of me, I'll use my bonus action to activate my flame tongue mm-hmm. and like stab her as she's leaving me. Okay. That's a twelve fuck. Fifteen. Fifteen just makes it. <sighs> like that advantage on strength tools? Oh yeah. Those drugs, man. <laughs> I get advantage with rage as well. Oh that's true, yeah. Okay. So do you want to make me a, uh, you want me to make an attack on that? Yeah. So, uh, your bonus action, you activate your flame tongue, and then yeah. just make an attack roll. Okay. Roll it. That would be a 26. That'll hit. <laughs> 13 physical and 6 fire. 19 all together. Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> That's your turn? Uh... Would pushing her off of me count as my action? I don't know. Gage, what's your what's your say? So he attacked with an action, right? Yeah. It's a bonus action. Bonus action as a pushing off. Mm-hmm. To contest the grapple. Wait, I he, mean it's one hundred up one hundred percent up to DM. Okay. Yeah. Alright. I would say, as part of your action, you'd be able to push her off because you succeeded with the with the with the roll. You'd be okay. able to push her off and attack at the same time. Okay, I can still do something. I'm going back off twenty feet. Okay, actually make that thirty. Okay, <laughs> no fucking make it forty. Okay, because <laughs> my movement speed is forty. I'm going back off forty feet Good call. and cast uh, chill touch. So I create a ghostly skeletal hand, I make a range spell attack with a 21. That'll hit. And <clears throat> she'll take 9 necrotic, which is shit. Yep. But <clears throat> she can't regain, regain hit points until the start of my next turn. The uh, hand clings to the target. And is she undead? She is undead. She has disadvantage on attacks roll against me until my next turn. You notice that it doesn't do as much damage as it should have done? Okay. But the effect still remains. <clears throat> you lucky son of a bitch. <laughs> that, that was a fucking ride. <laughs> that was a clutch maneuver on your part. Otherwise, you'd be dead. Gage, it is your turn. <clears throat> and that's your turn, Zach. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anyone between me and the demon? Depends I, on how you guys are positioned. I was literally holding her. Yeah, so he's probably... I would have went towards the door. Okay. Yeah, so the way I'm picturing it is 
I'm all of you guys. She's kind of in the center of the room. Yeah. Sorrow is pretty much directly next to her. Uh, Charlotte and the Doctor and Philippe and you are all just behind them, and Luth is 40 feet away towards the door. Sorry, sir. Uh, sorry, but, uh, <laughs> don't. <laughs> I'll cast Prismatic Spray. You fucking asshole, you didn't kill me! You won't die. I only have 59 hit points! You might die. <laughs> you might die. <laughs> I have so many good spells, I was literally formulating like a three spell. Oh that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> would you have, uh, would can I save because of your cloak? I have advantage, that's it. So pretty good. Okay. <laughs> Depends on the save. All right. Okay, so eight multicolored rays grasp my hand. Each ray is colored a different color and must have a different and has a different power and purpose. Each creature in a sixty foot cone must make a dexterity same throw. Uh, for each target, roll a d eight to determine the color ray affects it. I'll let you roll a d eight. What's the DC? Uh, eighteen. Again, sorry, sorrow. Shield does nothing for me. Fuck. So, like, can I determine, like, how many rays go against each one, or what? Okay, what's this? 60 foot cone. Eight yeah. rays shoot out in a 60 foot cone. Yeah. I would say that probably two of them would hit. Two of them would hit him? Like, like, the two of them together. Those are the orange, and if he's behind her, yeah. I'm right next to it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The way I'm picturing it is like, I was holding like her this, in my arms. they're all side by side. So, so it'd like, be four each? I would say two each. Two each? Okay, sure. I don't know what the effects of the spell does. It's, it's bad. different. Okay. Bad. Jakes. Okay, so sh- I'll, should I roll for his first? Yes. Okay. That's a three. Wait, uh, I'll make a deck statement throw first. What's your save, DC? 18. <laughs> I have a plus zero in dex. Roll a 19. Okay. Nice! Holy nice. Nice. Well, what's the fudge. Thing? What's the thing? Uh, you'll take a, uh, 10d6 lightning damage or half as much on a successful save. So. Uh, it's gonna kill you. No, it's not gonna kill me, but fuck. We have a doctor. Oh, well, we did have a doctor. Oh, he's got, like, plus zero medicine. Plus zero percent right now. Are you kidding me? I've got minus plus one. Seven. I've got minus one medicine. 30 damage. So, like, 15? Oh. Yeah, 15 lightning damage. Cool. <laughs> I honestly would have been fine on that. And then, so forth. Ooh. So for the second one that hits you, it's a you special. Rolled an eight, didn't you? Yeah. yeah. Fuck. So I take two yeah. Rays. First one is a seven. Okay, that's not terrible. Second is a one. So for seven, uh, yeah, roll a or the nineteen would be your save already, right? Yeah, it'd be an overall save. Yeah, yeah. It's an overall save. Yeah. I yeah. thought it was different. Well, it's one deck save to avoid the beam, right? Yeah. Okay, but I'm getting hit by two different beings. So what I yeah, so is... first off, for the seven, uh, you're not blind. Yeah, so that's all good. And then for that's one, good. you take 10d6 fire damage, or half, so half of 10d6. I thought it was, I have to make a dex save for each ray I get hit by. No, I would say the rays are right next to each other, so I would say your initial dex save would be for both rays. Okay. It's a, it just says that each creature in a 60-foot cone must make a dex save and throw. Okay. Okay. Uh, so 37 and half is... So 38 divided by 2 is... No, you go to 36. Yeah, 36, so that would be... 18. 16. 18. I just did a cover. 36 and half. Oh, yeah, yeah, 18, yeah, you're right, yeah. I'm at 26 hit points. And then can the demon roll a dex? Or... Wait. She got a 21 for her dex save. Fuck you. Alright, she has plus 9 for her deck saves. And 2 hit her, right? Or, like, there are 2... Okay. Where's my d8? Where's... 8. Hunger. So, first two special... 2 of them... 
52, so 10d6. Well, I'm just glad I'm not dead because I have a legit plan. Uh, so 30 damage, so in half would be. Yeah, we're both kind of fucking with the person, right now, and then. I'm chilling at night. I don't know, what can I do as a rogue? You can run up and melee attack. So that's 15. Uh, stab. I can't do any of that stab shit, shit though, right? No, you can uh, 15 spells. acid damage. 15 more? No, 15 first. Okay. And then next will be... So would I be able to do a sneak attack? Uh, poison damage. 47 in half. 47 in half is... 20... 23. Yeah. It's like, in that 21st sphere of hunger pain. And then for the second beam... And never will. You guys are fucking decimating my monster. Uh, it's a cold damage. <laughs> <laughs> Character's angry for having gone into a cage. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to do some cool really shit, angry. but now I kind of just want to fucking one shot this thing. I almost took this up and put this ball four skate. Uh, 39 in half. So 20. You should have fucking taken it. Thanks, yeah. Finger Death is pretty much dead, too. I don't even know what that is. It's like 78 plus 30. It's not even necrotic. Yeah, right. Everybody do a perception check, please. Dude, it's necrotic. It's not, not going to do shit. 18. You want to do a prism check on me, please? 15. Uh, 14. Okay. Everybody who rolled above 10 notices that Reginald was looking through the doors and is now running for his fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, with that, it is Justin's turn. I'm yelling through the doors at him. Old oh, man, I need some medicine! <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so what can I actually do? You can do a lot of things. Right now, Clayton, sorry, Sorrow is within five feet of Eliara. Okay. So you can sneak attack her. You have advantage, so you can sneak attack her. So I have advantage? Okay. So that is going to be... Well, you wouldn't get advantage. No, that's how sneak attack works. If someone's within five feet of them. Oh, yeah, well, sorry, yeah. not advantage, but you still get sneak attack. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm going off of this 14th level, 7d6 is my sneak attack. Yes. <laughs> okay. We can literally whip a dagger and probably win this battle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay. okay. Where are my d6s? Yeah, there are a bunch right there. There's 7 d6 right there. We get the hit first. Yeah, roll the hit. Roll the d20. Hide your dex modifier. What are you no. doing? That's a 12. Roll the d20. Okay. Ah, uh, what are you doing to attack her exactly? You're gonna stab her with your dagger? Yeah, I'm gonna do daggers. Okay. Uh, 12, plus your proficiency, plus your dexterity. So that's 22. That'll hit it. And since you... Are you dual wielding? Are you dual wielding? Do you have two daggers on each hand? Maybe. Because you can use a bonus action to attack with your second dagger. Yeah. But the sneak attack only goes to one hit. Yeah, but you I can will. still... I'll just sneak I'll attack first, and then... Yeah, we'll get there. Okay. Six, six, five, three fives, <laughs> and seven. is 28. And seven is 35. No. Plus, plus damage of the dagger? Plus your d4, plus your dexterity. That's 34. That, that, that right there is 34. Roll your d4 for your dagger damage. One, and then four. your dexterity on top of that. So that'd be a plus 6. So 40. Thank you, Rage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's still kicking? She is still alive. Okay. She is bloody. Um. <clears throat> With this, though, we temporarily leave initiative. And you see Eliora's form begin to change. Oh, fuck. She has two, bud. Quick, shoot prismatic spray again, Gage. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like good. <laughs> you would if you could. He's in five feet still. Does he get, when she changes form, does he get blown back? If we push aside, he won't be like blown away. She changes from Thank you, though. <laughs> I tried. a humanoid girl into a large winged dire wolf. You know, this is like a play. Shut up! 
<laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> she, as she's transforming, she's screaming at the top of her lungs. And as her form, are earplugs cannon? <laughs> they are. You got some fucking wool plugs you can put in your ears. <laughs> yes. As she begins finishes polymorphing into a dire wolf, her screams turn into a roar of raw bestial fury. That's hot. <clears throat> she spreads her bat-like wings, flies up, and bursts out of the the ballroom, breaking through the windows at the end. Out of the chains, too? Out of the chains. With her transformation, they just split like nothing. So she's running? For now. Charlotte and Soro get opportunity attacks because she was within melee range of them. I took the Warcaster feat. You didn't. I did. Oh my <laughs> god. No. Uh, I want to know what kind of spells can I cast in the range? Cast of one action. Cast of one action? Doesn't matter what level the spell is? Nope. No. Cast in time of one action. Um, I'm going to cast Wall of Ice to block off her exit. <laughs> Are you just going to, like, entomb her? I mean, I could probably kill her, but I want to drag it out a little bit. No, like, she's not that close to death. Okay. Entomb her, so then like you just a, make a wall around her. I can make a hemispherical dome. Yeah. But she's already in the air. Yeah. So making a hemispherical dome in the air would just leave a gaping hole in the bottom that she would just fly underneath and escape from. She'd ram into the wall. How nimble is she? In this uh, one? Maybe not wall of ice then. You know, you've just seen her. She's flying away. I'm. I know she's got a plus nine in depth. And now she's probably a lot more. <laughs> It's not her slow. Are you gonna block off her exit or try and trap her? I don't think there'll be any point in trapping her. Yeah. Because she'll just break through pretty easily. Yeah. I mean, she'll take damage if she breaks through, but I'm just gonna try and, like, as she's, like, lunging away, I'm gonna have the wall of ice come up so she, like, hits it. Okay. Basically. Uh, what does wall of ice do exactly? Uh, I create a wall of ice and a solid surface. Wall of ice. Fuck <laughs> off. Within range, which is 120 feet, so. I, uh, I I just make a shape. Uh, walk us through a creature's space. When it appears, the creature within its area is pushed to one side of the wall. It must make a dex saving throw. Failed save, the creature takes 10d6 cold damage, or half as much damage on a successful save. 10d6 cold damage? The wall is an object that can be damaged and thus breached. It has an AC 12 and 30 hit points. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to cast that. Dex save? Dex save. It should speed to 20. Which she got an 18. In total? In total. So she takes all 10 D6s. That's fucking disgusting. And I have 6. Uh, That's 16. Okay. Uh, that was D. So that's 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 16, uh, 21, 27, uh, 30. One thirty-three points of cold damage. Um, and yep, yeah, that's it. That's all I can do. Okay. It's your turn to initiative then. Okay. Uh, she is trapped in the room with you. I would like to use my bonus action to use the other opportunity attack. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry, I forgot about oh, that. Fuck yeah. You go first. So you got to make a melee attack against her. I don't think the sneak attack still qualified because you were right next to her. Because so, she's not engaged with anybody. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's running. So just roll uh, melee, melee attack. I'm um, doing roll to hit. Yeah, roll your d20. Add your dex and your proficiency. Oh god. Mm -hmm. Five, fifteen. Yes. Okay. It just glances off her hide like she doesn't even notice. It's off the chin. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. That was my pride though. We're still. Yep. Yeah. You did the insane amount of damage. Anyway, <laughs> can I? I have Shadow Blade in one of my glyphs. Uh, would it take a whole action to use that glyph? 
Can we do the beer? Or just a bonus? Is that a glyph of Bardi? Or? Yeah. What am I saying? I only have the two. One is Snorlax. Snowball Where's the glyph? Uh, How would you activate it? It's just in my book. And you just like touch it and swipe it? And... I just have to tap it to make it activate. Do you have the book out? Well, I'm using it to cast spells. Okay, so I'll say this is a bonus action to touch it and swipe it. Okay, so I have my Shadow Blade. I don't think I'm going to need it. Because uh, I can... I'm going to cast... Just let it go. He's not going to like that. I'm going to cast... <laughs> <laughs> He's awake, he smiled with that. Um, I do smile if I stab him with this pencil. <laughs> stab, stab. I have about 20 pencils here. <laughs> He's fucking nailing me in the throat. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, wake up. Uh, it's like, she has disadvantage on, on dex saves because it's cold touch? Only against him. On attacks against me. Oh, okay. On my next turn. I'm going to cast Erupting Earth. So I choose a point you can see in the ground. A fountain of churned earth and stone erupts in a 20 foot cube center in that point. Each creature in that area must make a deck saving throw. I'm casting it at a fifth level, which, so if it fails, it takes. Uh, what exactly damage. is the saving? So it has to make a deck save and take 5v4. DC 20? Yep. What is DC saving? Difficult. Difficult. Nice check. Class. Oh. Either. Either way, um, she failed. She failed. She failed. failed. She takes all five before. I fucking, I'm so pissed. I got hit by that prismatic wash. <laughs> that wasn't her. I know, she has but done I shit to you. Right now, bro. I think that sneak attack was pretty spicy. That's that was exactly sexy. juicy. Dude. You did like four damage in one hit. Uh, it's ten, nineteen. Uh, 28, 38 points of damage. Alright. <laughs> Throw the final punch. Just fucking get him. He's so mad. He's gonna sleep this whole time. Throws potion. <laughs> Let's do this, gamers. <laughs> Yo, I'm gonna throw my fucking, um... Throw that gamer girl bath water. Throw <laughs> <laughs> your jar of mayonnaise. <laughs> I don't have the jar of mayonnaise, okay? No, I'm gonna throw my um alchemical fire potion. So uh they have to uh succeed on a dexterity saving throw. Where they take uh the full five d six damage. Are you kidding me? I'm not five d six? Are you yes, fucking sir. kidding me? I am not. <laughs> I genuinely you wish I was. Oh, is this it? We will see. <laughs> Does that have the potential? It could. Uh, she's got under 30 health. She's on her last day. Ah, uh, that's 20. So cool. <laughs> Fucking thing is alive still. <laughs> Philippe! <laughs> Do the final blow, Philippe! <laughs> Philippe is gone. Oh, he left too? He ran. What a pussy, man. You're a vampire. Are him and Reginald just like off fucking each other? Reginald <laughs> just fucking went. Reginald's going to town. I'm bleeping in Brit Bush outside right now. He's like, bleep, we might die. I have to unveil my true feelings, and that's what I want to fuck you in this <laughs> Well, they're brave adventurers. Kill your sister. Can bleep is getting fucked by Reginald. <laughs> the chocolate, man. <laughs> Having mean, can. She Imagine. can't regain hit points. Nope. For how long? Fuck you! For how long? <laughs> Until the next turn. That's some drag. <sighs> Whose turn is it? It is now her turn. Okay, well she can't go through the wall of ice. If she does, she'll take one damage. <laughs> if she has to break it, then she'll take uh, 5d6 gold damage on a con throw. So she can break it, but she'll take damage. Does she surrender? She does not surrender. <laughs> She's enraged. I surrender! <laughs> you gonna try to kill. She is beyond all human reasoning. Um. She has to fight Sora. She, so she Why me? Go for any <laughs> so, um. Because you got below us, though. How long does Death Ward last? Eight hours. Cool. <laughs> or until your first step. I look at my pocket watch, and I now know <laughs> that it is. Two hours past the darkest point in the night. <laughs> Jesus Christ, <man>. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many of us Duncan wants to kill right now. And he can't. I could. 
You could kill I some of us. I would probably die <laughs> if I took any kind of damage. Who's closest to her right now? I still haven't moved from my spot. One of these two. So it'd be yeah, near him. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't. Anyway. That was my last. He's 40 feet away. Alright. I'm at full health, though. So, I am also at full health. Who's going to get high with me? <laughs> Eliora. Bestial Eliora. Rather. Attacks Charlotte. Attacks. Sorry to hear that, Charlotte. <laughs> oh, damn, sorrow. Looks you like you're dying. I'm going to roll yeah. for it because I don't. It's sorrow. <laughs> 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 Even with sorrow. Sorry, man. Um, first off, she uses her frightful presence. No! No, not that! Everybody make. A DC 18 listen save. DC 18? I have yeah. advantage. My robe. Fuck your robe. Fuck you. <laughs> oh 18. my god, I roll a 4 to 7! What kind of save? Wiz. Okay. Let's see here. Yeah. That's that is thir- 15. Or, that's 11, what, minus? I had 13. That's 13 minus 8. 1. 12. Wait, I might have something for this. What did you get? 15. You all failed! Wait, wait. You motherfuckers. Oh, no. yeah. Ooh, actually, I'm going to use Dark One's own luck. So when I make an ability or saving throw, I can add a d10 to the result. Okay. Weird flex, but okay. I got 17. Still failed. DC 18. Uh, Sorry, buddy. Yeah, I got that sexy minus one wisdom. I had an advantage. Oh, no! no! Uh, I should have used portent! <laughs> it's too late now. I had a 15! I was saving it for an important roll. Okay. Does she fuck us? <laughs> Gage, what did you no, get? Uh, no, I'm fucked. You're fucked. Yeah. Okay. It's actually uh, if I die, bad. you're coming with me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> so you're all effectively afraid of her. You cannot. I was kind of afraid of her before. But yeah, same. Yeah, the whole, float, <laughs> the, the whole floaty, screamy thing, that kind of got me. <laughs> Straight up, you, the only reason I'm here is for the money. You mm-hmm. cannot move closer to her. You can attack her still, I think. I think you have yeah, disadvantage. You can't willingly move closer to her. Yeah. I think, you're, I think you're, you have a disadvantage on it. You no. Know, so don't you? No. I'm going to look up for you. You can't. Look up. It. Yeah. It's, what does, wait, yeah, what I've got it right here. Thing. Okay. Disadvantage on ability checks and attack right rolls. Okay. Disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of spheres within line of sight. Yeah, you can't can really move closer. closer. So right. have a and we're in an empty Fuck ballroom. Fuck you. Yeah. Right. Line of sight is... No. She's gonna fly towards Sorrow. Uh, I use my reaction okay. to cast shield, which gives me a plus two in AC. Alright. You can do that. It's going to be a check. <laughs> yeah, but you never fucking know. Yeah, because she'll, she'll, she'll do what she'll do what she'll do. Um, this will bear. Oh, I plus five my AC. Okay, so I have twenty AC right now. Oh, and I take no damage from magic and stuff. She got a twenty-one. To Are you fucking <laughs> Okay, all right. Fucking shit. How does it feel being DM? Okay. It's awesome. You're gonna kill me. I was the only one. <laughs> how much HP do you have, by the way? What? How much HP do you have on? 29. Oh, wait, no, sorry, 26. <laughs> <laughs> He's honestly so happy about that. Alright. You know, you were the only person to do stuff for like the last two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Look where he gets you. <laughs> Shot by prismatic spray, and then murdered by a demon wolf. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah. I was a good person. I put that 500 <laughs> platinum pieces back. Could have taken that. Could have taken the 500 you bet Charlotte's going to fucking get those after. <laughs> Probably. So you take 17 piercing damage. Cool. Good start. I'm at 11 hit points. <laughs> no, you, I think you're at 9. 30 poison. 17? 26 minus 17. Oh, that is 9. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> You're I'm unconscious. Necrotic damage. Oh! <laughs> I'm dead! That's so unconscious. No! Necrotic yeah. damage kills you outright. Really? Really? I don't, I don't think, think so. No. Zero. No. no. Right. Does it not? I no. It not. does. Yeah, it does. No, it I'm doesn't. fairly certain it does. I remember this happening in Critical Role. Yeah, it happened in Critical Role, that's why I know. She got hit by the Necrotic Mist yeah. and she died outright. Because of certain. some certain skills. Maybe. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Hold on. 
The target dies if this effect reduces its hit point maximum to zero. This has been really fun. <laughs> Thanks for playing. See you guys later. <laughs> Drunkards and dragons. <laughs> woo woo. Fuck you, Gage. <laughs> yeah, I can't do anything. He'll be back, probably. Yeah. He lives here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So where is Sorrow? Oh yeah, he's right beside him. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot eight beams <laughs> directly at him. <laughs> yeah. You know, Cage, that's on you, man. I just it's like it's twenty, fun. like thirty damage on him. It's good. Charlotte, you're right next to Dead Sorrow, and she still has three attack left. So or two attack left. So she's gonna attack you. Okay. Shit. Two claw attacks. What's your good? Uncanny dodge. Uh, I have oh, sixteen armor class. Uncanny dodge. She got an eighteen and a twenty-six to hit, so she hits both. Uncanny dodge. Do you use do you use uncanny dodge? The answer is always yes. Always yes, I yes. use uncanny dodge. Can you use it once? Turn. When an attacker that you can see hits you with an attack, you can use your reaction to have the attack's damage against you. You only have one reaction now. Okay. Per round. Per round. You get it back next round. Yeah. Okay, so let's see here. For claw attack, you take 12 slashing damage plus 10 poison damage, reduced to half. Minus, so, minus 11. And then you take so, another 11 slashing damage. Is that halved as well? No, just the first just one. Just the first one. Okay. Plus nine poison damage. And that's your turn. Zach is now Ruth's turn. How far away is she from me? Forty feet. She's forty feet away. Yeah. Do a little well, knife throwy. We're all feared, right? Yeah. Disadvantage on attack rolls. <laughs> I'm going to uh I'm gonna so fold. I'm just posting a memorial on my Twitter. <laughs> this character I was actually super <laughs> proud of. Who's now dead? But I mean, he did pretty much everything. You're welcome, guys. <laughs> I solved the mystery. Can I notice if she has? You were doing backflips and drugs, and you were actually investigating. <laughs> you just like seeing through her own eyes, right? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna cast blindness slash deafness. Okay. She has to make a con save though. Okay. DC 15. 21. Plus 11. Sorry. Rolled like shit all game. And now, and now I'm rolling like baller. It's <laughs> awesome. Well, that's my fucking turn. Okay. Gage. Uh, okay, I just need to check one thing. <laughs> She's looking real rough, by the way. Okay. Do it. Either that or hunger of her hero. Uh, Actually, I, should have fucking I, I want to use animate object on your body, Clayton. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I want to use animate object on your body. But if you do that, I will legit leave you <laughs> and throw his dead body at him. Uh, no, but uh. I had so many cool spells as a to use catapult. Then if you use that, it would be pretty cool. I'll use thunder wave at sixth level. Okay. So it's a uh, constitution save through. Charlotte is right next to her. Yeah, well, we oh, already fine. know he doesn't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the only good person in the world doesn't mind collateral damage, I guess. Sorry, con save? Yeah, con save. What's the DC? Uh, 18. She got a 19. Fuck you. What's your. You gotta make a save too. Yeah. Make a con save. Roll a d20, add your constitution bonus. Ooh, solid plus 2. Are you proficient in it? You are not. You still saved. Wow, you got you got it. Good job. Awesome. That is seventy-eight. Seventy-eight damage. I think because two D eight is normal thunder wave and six, six oh, level. Oh yeah. So yeah, yeah. So yeah. you said seventy-eight. Yeah. Oh, like that's lame. Oh, that's three fucking ones. <laughs> okay, that's not bad. Fuck, Duncan. Seventy eight, I said, yeah. Uh, twenty eight. Because I really don't know how medicine is working. In between my attacks, I'm spreading some of this powder on my neck wound. Okay, <laughs> that's awesome. 
Gage. As Brown as Thunderwave. The huge shockwave echoes through the room. Charlotte is blasted away? Or uh, he, I say, she still stays safe. where she is. She just takes 15 damage. L.E.R. falls on her side and she said, <laughs> You have slain my mighty monster with a fucking sound blast. <laughs> Don't worry, you took one of us on the way there. <laughs> <laughs> I look back, I saw he his nose. two things. This... It, I saw his nose, and I had two hit points left. Yeah, that entire wow. time I had two hit points wow. left. Wow. Yeah. Um, I was tempted to pawn more, but she could have gone, like, failed. I was tempted to just run up there, but I'm like, you know, if I don't kill her, then I'm yeah. dead. <laughs> All I had to do, two hit points, and she would have been dead. Wow. You could okay. have thrown <clears throat> Anyway, Eleanor's form I knew I should use shrinks and, and turns back to her human one. Is a human dead? She's dead. She's dead, dead. She's she's done so. But her curse through death has been lifted. Um, you all observe the chains that were holding her begin to glow, and light motes spiral upwards from the chains into the form of two ethereal figures. Oh, her fans. Her parents. Her Faja and Maja. <laughs> a tall, stern looking man and a short, matronly woman who both resemble God. Philippe and uh, Eliora. They don't speak, but they look down on Eliora with uh, an expression of kindness and some sorrow. <laughs> and then seeing. Ooh, name drop! <laughs> Seeing Sora <laughs> lying dead on the ground, <laughs> the Sylvester Spectre travels over to him, passes his hand over his eyes. You gonna animate my body with him? That's fuck. And your eyes open. Wait, I'm not dead? It's Sylvester takes over your body. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking, was he's gonna use me to communicate no. or some shit. You Is this a pity resurrection? No, this is planned. Okay, good. Because I knew this was gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> um with a shock, with a gasp, breath enters your lungs again, and you start heaving, like you're you're dry retching, you just came back from the dead. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. I saw some weird shit you guys. Yeah. Um Gradually, the glow of light fades from the room as Sylvester and his wife, the specters, fade from existence. Elior's body remains on the ground, untouched. I'm going to kneel next to her and give her the old prayer. <laughs> give her the old... <laughs> Yo, oof. Killian, you want to know a fun fact? I had revived my body. Use that on Eliora! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> As Luth is praying next to her body, make make a wisdom check for me. You still got that thing you put on him though, right? Yeah, I still got the death board. 18. You, you all can see swirling darkness surrounding her body. You know that this is demonic in nature. Based off of your experience with demons. Okay. Before any of you can act, the darkness swallows her body and she disappears. I mourn her. <laughs> <laughs> um, Are you yeah. fucking serious? Right, Those with that. fucking demons. Well, well, uh, is there anything I can do? <laughs> I want to save her. Charlotte does a backflip. <laughs> you can <find> it <laughs> Is there, can I, can I, can I, can I use, uh, <laughs> no one, <laughs> no one, Charlotte, Charlotte. I'm gonna do it back, <laughs> can I, uh, what, can I use Maximum's Earth and Grass to hold her, it's too late, Based, you're still kind of in shock from having died and being brought back to life, I wanted to save her, oh, maybe next time on that 20, this sucks, I died, and then, yeah. and then no. the girl died. <laughs> Good job, guys. You you solved the mystery of Eldrick Manor. You lifted the curse. You killed the monster. The girl was dead already. <laughs> oh. She was dead. She was a vampire werewolf. 
be giving you still. Um, ah. You guys absolutely dismantled her. So wise. it was werewolves versus vampires. So this is pretty much Twilight. Twilight oh. Underworld. So is better Philippe, movie. All right. Philippe human again. Underworld. The podcast <laughs> is canceled. <laughs> is Philippe human again? You don't know. You didn't see him. He's gone. That's He's it. fucking here in the bushes. <laughs> you know what? I want this to be canon. Uh, hey, man, man. Soro is done with this place. He okay. goes upstairs to the parents' bedroom, crawls under the bed, takes five hundred and five and walks out the front door. Injects himself <laughs> as he drops the house, never to return. I, I limp my way to the kitchen and start making Yo, does Zach die from the <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm bouncing. Bring it! I oh, got <laughs> death ward. <laughs> For fuck's sake! I'm gonna kill somebody today. I take my water. As you stand up and make your way to the kitchen, you <coughs> leave the ballroom, enter the foyer, and you feel a chunk <laughs> pass through your heart <laughs> and stay there. <laughs> it is lodged there. Your heart is clogged and stops pumping. Within six seconds, you fall over. As it stops, I'm like fucking hammering on my chest. <laughs> but even if you were revived, wouldn't from the death ward, wouldn't the chunk still be there and you just immediately die right after? Science. Yeah, so it's the magic. First, the first time the target would drop to zero hit points as a result of taking damage. Is that damage? I, I would think that, so. Yeah, it's, it's called like, internal blood wound. Yeah. The target instead drops to one hit point and the spell ends. <laughs> but, but it's not a spell. <laughs> that's the word it is. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's so the is. spell ends, but does it dissolve uh, what caused the wound? No. If the spell is in, in effect when the target is subjected to an effect that would kill it instantaneously Let without healing damage, that effect is in, instead negated against the target and the spell ends. So it wouldn't do anything? No. He's cool, dead. you use Let death. Luth live! <laughs> okay, let me get this straight. You use Death Ward on the idiot barbarian, <laughs> but you fucking shoot me with prismatic spray. <laughs> Yo, you were at, like, full health points at that point. At that point, he was fucking almost overdosing. I put a 5% chance and you actually dying from that, and I rolled a 2. <laughs> so. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> I couldn't decide if I was going to do Shadow Blade or Figuring of Wonder's Power. I went with Shadow Blade. Turns out it probably I would specifically gave you the Figuring of Wonder's Power because I thought you'd love to have a dog for a pet. I, I was so excited I was going to use it. I should have because then it was going to fucking Guys, at the end I was still wearing the tiara. <laughs> Are you still wearing the tiara? Can my pseudo dragon eat me after I die? <laughs> it can You're still alive. In your body. That's I fine. am beautiful. All right. Um, so he drops to zero hit points. Death Ward saves him and puts him back to one hit point. But... The lump of tar is still inside. <laughs> no, his because heart. it's an effect that wouldn't oh. kill him outright, then both cancel out. Okay, I misunderstood. You're yeah, fine. Sir, yeah. <laughs> you're lying on the floor and you're in a bit of shock. So yeah, I and just you see like, a boat to nibble a bit of your nose off. But you're alive. I give him a playful pet. You also have like go a, to the kitchen. A midlife crisis. Realize you should really control your drug problem. Fuck no. Um, I'm gonna walk down the path towards the house. As I pass the shepherd boy, I'm gonna give him a single platinum piece. I'll be like, uh, don't trust anyone in don't this fucking place. Don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. Okay. No, listen, no. listen, kid. I don't want anything to do with this fucking place anymore. All right. I lost the accent. Uh, one fine. second. Don't. Yeah. Uh, son. Um. This place is fucked. Uh, the house is fucked. Uh, Felipe, Felipe is a vampire. Reginald's a liar. Eleanor is dead. The two parents were ghost chains that disappeared into the sky. Demons swallowed the dead body of the woman. I found some money. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna take that pristine sheet with me. <laughs> it's a goat. The goat. Pristine goat with me, and I'm gonna head back down to find the He tries to fucking goat. kill the goat. That was your first action. No, it lived, and I'm gonna yeah. take it with me. Please drink responsibly and don't do drugs. Full circle. Full circle, yeah. That's what I'm saying. What were you going to say? You did pass Reggie and Philippe as you walked out. I, I think I'm not game. fucking... <laughs> I'm not dangling the sack of coins out. No, it's fine. They were just kind of cowering in the bushes. Like, they don't deserve this not. money. They literally let... Nobody's talking about the money. Okay. You don't talk? <laughs> it's all about the money, money, money. Shut up. <laughs> Reginald was going to die if you hadn't cast Ice Wall. So you saved his life, dude. 
Cool. Yeah. Tipper Red. <laughs> what a fucking flex. <laughs> Delicious goat cooked this. I, I give the Shepherd Boy one platinum piece. I take the pristine goat. I, I'll give the person who owns him one platinum piece. It is still like four in the morning. Nobody I knows. leave it on his doorstep and I with a note saying, I took your goat, fuck you people, and I'm going to take the goat and I'm fucking gone. <laughs> like, my I don't, I don't ever want to see any of you again. Just... I don't want to see this shitty town again. Um, I want to make sure I live because I'm using this character again. Right, right on. I'm using this character again. Rowan is now 100% pre- prepared for his <laughs> now acting for his next acting performance. All right. <laughs> I realized guys. Charlotte did not have any useful stats. <laughs> Plus 15 in acrobatics is <laughs> not the way to go. No, you did good. You, did you fucking did, cool yeah. stuff. You did some backflips. Yeah. And then you did like <laughs> fucking stupid damage. Yeah, you did like four. That was yeah. a quarter of her hit points in one turn. Yeah, you did a fucking lot. Of I think I think the best reverse of the fortune is when he started to put drugs in your face. <laughs> you try to stop it, and I stop you stop it. Well, I see. Yeah, I think you would have died outright. You would have died outright. How much? You had like fifty six hit points. Max? I had fifty nine at the time. Yeah, you would have been fucked. I yeah. took nearly a hundred and eight damage. <laughs> yeah, her damage output per turn is a hundred to a hundred and ten. Oh my god! So you would have been fucked. I took, like, ten. <laughs> um, you dealt a lot, man. <laughs> yeah, I took thirty-one. What'd you do, Tony? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. So good. good job, guys. So tired. Uh, uh, it was a cool, cool, cool. Mm-hmm. I liked it. It was good. I liked the house. Uh, Thanks, man. I wish there was more to explore in the cellar. Yeah, yeah. if I had had more time to prepare. Or if I just prepared. Yeah, that's fair. You said this might be a full quest, too? Honestly, as I was writing it, it kind of turned into, like, a whole campaign. You can, so, can, you you can do Victorian era with, like, ghouls and stuff. That would fit. Yeah, Give us well. a tease what the campaign is like. Well, I mean, there was a whole bunch of demonic involvement that you guys didn't touch at all. Eliora's body just disappeared with no explanation. So you're why. saying there was a deal with demons? There was some kind of deal. Well, because it was a really powerful so demon, right? It was an insanely powerful demon that Eliora may or may not have summoned for reasons unknown. Or made a deal with the demon. <laughs> so wait, did the demon have killed their parents? Is that implied? Double yeah. name drop. What it was was. Cut that. <laughs> Eliora summoned Ew. a demon. <laughs> yeah. And was turned into this werewolf vampire hybrid. That's uh, fucking sexy. And her parents sacrificed themselves to restrain her until somebody could either turn her back to normal or defeat her. Right. Because he had to be good to pass through. We just fucking... Dude, wait, what, what would have happened if none of us were good? You would have derailed the entire campaign. I would have had to come up with a different way for you guys to get through the barrier. She said, how, was, how could we have made her better? Uh, maybe a remove curse spell or a wish spell. Last night, we were talking. I was like, should I take Remove Curse, or should I take something else? And they're like, nah, what well, we need Remove Curse I for? was also like, should I take Resurrection, or not? And I was like, no, I'm not going to need it. Need it. I know, but I was like, what are the, what are the chances that oh. Duncan uses a curse? <laughs> also, you have Lycanthropy now. Just saying. Dope. Yeah, because you got bitten <laughs> and you failed that con save, so you're a werewolf. So you have rage problems, drug problems, <laughs> and now you have a problem with fucking life and I have a problem with my beam impact. <laughs> Yo, but if you transform into a fucking werewolf, like, I feel like... Could you imagine a coked out werewolf? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're, you're better off. Like, you know, if you're about to die and you transform into a werewolf, like, you're probably okay. <laughs> you were a simmering pot of problems. <laughs> I used to imagine a werewolf fucking, like, white powder <laughs> no, more like this. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! What the fuck? Takes right. a few fucking steps. If we ever play this campaign, can I still play a fourteen-level wizard named Iramord or Soro? Yeah, my yeah. real name's Iramord, by the way. Yeah, no one knew that. Yeah, no I forgot that. to mention. Yeah, that. no one cares. <laughs> if we ever pick up this campaign again, we'll just pick up from here. So yeah, cool. Cause I want to play this guy, and I'm gonna have a pet yeah. cat. I want to <laughs> put the doctor more. Yeah, I like fine. all of you guys' characters. The doctor was so useful. <laughs> no, I was so like fucking fell asleep. Like, so sorry. sorry. Wait, how does, <laughs> how does the rolling save thing work? Like, I believe it was the plague. <laughs> oh, like, yo, yeah, I'm kind of like, yo, man. I poisoned the doctor. Yeah. 
Is it just like a certain number that's like yeah. Zach so Zach out if yeah. like Eliora <laughs> with you five minutes presence, in the game, and you all have to be drugs. Uh, okay. <laughs> just if I had something check, so the DC on that, the difficulty class or dice check. Um, is that like 18. preset? Also, should we still it's, be recording this? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of like this. Yeah, I like this. Yeah. Um, it, it's, it's based on the challenge rating of the monster and the monster stats. So, because she was challenge rating 17, um, she had a very high difficulty class for that. That's why you guys all failed it. Also, you all roll like shit, which was amazing. Not that it mattered because she died in the next turn anyway, but whatever. Who got to the killing bow? You? Tony? Did you? What? No. Who got the I think yeah. it was me. No, was it you? We have this on record. We can just go yeah, back and I check. Like, I, like I believe it was you. Somebody, <laughs> please leave in the comments below. <laughs> oh no, it was your thunder wave. Yeah. Oh, oh thunder wave. wave. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 Fucking song, please boy. confirm it in the comments below. <laughs> Straight up, you were like. Like, panicking. subscribe, and hit that bell. You, as soon as I cast wall of ice, you started panicking. So I was like, sweet, I get the killing blow. I'm gonna kill her. I'm gonna save myself. She had two hit points after that. Game. I know. I was so close to. I shouldn't have used Shadow Blade. I should have used. Oh wait, no. The fucking figurine. Sorry. Of power. She had more. Tony used. His, <laughs> oh, his, fire. his fire. Yo, <laughs> I think, and it did a little bit more damage. Doesn't that fire Hell, yeah. to them? Uh, yeah, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't say. It, wait, but... Zach, did you have no like ranged attacks? Well, I'm a warlock. I have spells. I have oh, two but... spell slots now. <laughs> Why didn't you? I, I tried I tried making her blind, but she uh, succeeded on her con yeah. save. She had very high con. <laughs> Imagine succeeding on being blind. <laughs> okay. Uh, I had fun. I thought it was cool. I enjoyed sleuthing. I liked being a detective. <laughs> and I dying. Liked, I liked seeing through Reginald's bullshit with, like, no yeah, problem. Yeah, that was awesome. I'm glad you did. Yeah, Reginald's such a liar. I enjoyed the detail and the architecture. <laughs> I put a lot of thought into it. I really enjoyed that apparently herring is a delicacy. I enjoyed that quest, yeah. yeah. I, I'm glad that chocolate isn't candy. <laughs> I'm glad that not But sex wings are. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, did, I said they weren't canon. <laughs> sex swings are not canon. <laughs> but sex is. I'm so pissed. Sex, I wanted of course to, sex is canon. to live. Yeah, but. Maybe she'll come back in the future. How can you have I'm, sex with I was gonna have, have my teeth like, fall in love with her. <laughs> How do you even have sex with a sex swing? <laughs> then why do they call it the sex swing? <laughs> I don't know. I was gonna make my teeth like, fall in love with her. And then she just killed me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, love is rough. <laughs> A, a tragic love story that didn't happen at all. <laughs> it's a love story. You're very fortunate that you actually did manage to stop her and confine her in that room because she was going to go on a rampage, kill Reginald, travel to the town, and kill a whole bunch of the villagers. Um, I knew I had to stop her as soon as she started going through the windows. I was like, mm-hmm. That's where Reggie is. <laughs> My boy, Reggie. No one kills Reggie with me. When I was exiting, I was half tempted to be like, also, I killed Reggie. But um, I was like, no, I'm still lawful neutral. But I, I knew I needed to take that money because I earned every single coin. I should have picked Felipe's fucking pocket and got the key. Yeah, you could have checked out her screaming, dangling body beforehand. <laughs> and then been stuck on two hours of how the fuck do we walk in because yeah. none of us are good. <laughs> It wasn't even that hard of a puzzle. <laughs> At least I didn't think it was. How how were we gonna save her again? I don't know. There was no hints towards it. Was there any? I way? yeah, I know. I kind of fucked it up a little bit. I think. Yeah, there wasn't much like option for not fighting. Yeah, or like. Well, no, it, you pretty much would have had to. Fight That's. Her. No I think when I like ran into it initially, it like fell back. Should have said something like. Or yeah, I so, you are so lucky, Zach, because your character should have taken a uh, got hit by opportunity attack when you backed up forty feet. You should have. He's right. I <laughs> mentioned it and I forgot. Jesus Christ! You would have died, bro. How much HP did you have at the end? Fourteen. Oh, you would have died. You would have died. What was everyone hit? Everyone hit points at the end. Oh. Zero. <laughs> Fourteen. No, I, I, guess, uh, I guess one. I was down to fifty-nine. Yeah, I guess one. Yeah. Yeah. I was down to fifty-nine. Fifty-nine. 59. Oh, I was still at full. But yeah, I you also. never. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like, I was the most health. <laughs> I think I also fell asleep. So <laughs> yeah, you were passed out for like two hours. Yo, I'm so tired. I'm so sorry. And no, it's fine. It's late. Adam's apple with a die. I was still at one or two. 
Yeah, that would have changed in one turn. <laughs> All right. Well, I joined it, Duncan. That's good. Thank you, everyone, for joining us on this depressing. <laughs> Depressing adventure <laughs> that went very well. We all had fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I still haven't solved the plague, so I hope we can come <laughs> back to this. Yeah, when we do the campaign, you 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 can solve the plague with your power. Oh, yeah, I'll with give your, more people your needles. Your syringe of tar that you have. <laughs> so straight region. up five, like not even five minutes. <laughs> okay, was it actually that? fucking tar? <laughs> it's just it was just liquid, man. I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. We're I wasn't planning for you to wanting me to inject what your shit like was two it? minutes in. I don't know. <laughs> it was just random liquid. I just said tar because I thought it'd be uh, funny. Listen, the point is, thanks everyone for coming out. This was fun. Had a blast first time D and D. Yeah, thank you, Justin, yeah, for yeah, coming out and playing with us. Thanks for having a special guest on. You're way more fun than Sebastian. <laughs> I'm kidding. Sebastian's actually really fun. I like how we've been trying to get Jada on here for like three months now, and she was. It's been know. like a month, like. Three weeks. Okay, I'm really drunk. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, and she <laughs> wasn't even our first time. I'm drunk, I'm dead. <laughs> She's gonna be so pissed. Don't tell her Justin was on the show. <laughs> Does she watch her podcast anyway? I don't know. <laughs> I, I sincerely doubt it. Yeah. Do, you, do you watch our podcast? Fuck, Justin? I don't even watch our podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we live our podcast. I watch our podcast. The only time I'm watching is when I'm editing. I watch. I try to make a habit of watching the last episode before we record more sessions oh, so yeah, I know what's yeah. going on. I just enjoy Never really listening happened. to myself talk. I <laughs> egotistical bastard. I just I stopped liking hearing myself talk because Ryan kept changing from Scottish to Indian. To Scottish. <laughs> I am Ryan Moonrock. <laughs> That's why I can't eat my yeah. yeah, I can't eat my dog. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Literally though. Oh, that's that's. <laughs> I'm the most hey, useless. At, at least you you actually make like a character voice. Instead of the DM doing the exact same voice for every fucking Honestly, character. Honestly, I just, I just make up own voices in my head. Yeah. At the end. <laughs> I, I love it because it's just like, when we're recording and Gage is like, oh, I'll, he's going to play the bartender and he's like, I've done this voice before. Yeah. <laughs> and then he'll play one character for a long time and keep changing up yeah. their voice. He's like, yeah. this is the 11th different <laughs> this voice. Is, yeah, this is the same here, voice. do like three different personality yeah. shifts. <laughs> or that one time where... Uh, there were like three different NBCs, and I was wasn't the exact same voice for each one. <laughs> it got kind of hard to follow. Yeah. Along. I was like, "Who the fuck's that?" Yeah, he's good. Yeah. All right, right, we're gonna call it a night. Yes. Yeah. Uh, please drink responsibly and don't do drugs, kids. Don't inject yourself with needles that people give you. I think you said this four times. Unless you're just... solving the plague. <laughs> All right. Okay. 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 All right. We're gonna wrap it up for. Uh, uh, Eldrick Manor. Uh, everyone have a great night. Thanks for coming out. See you again next time. Is there any beer left? Bye!